Hi! Happy Wednesday. Coming live from my closet because the lighting is better. So you're all used to there's no trim. This is what it is. So I'm going to show you. I've been wearing false lashes um, the last week or so because it just feels a little glam, you know. So I've had a couple people say I love the look, but I don't know how to do them. So I'm going to show you. First of all, I'm using Kiss Brand So Wispy Full Bouncy Volume and Curl. And then it didn't come with glue, so I'm just using this duo. Carrie, this is for you. Okay, this one I got to put it on there because I've already had it sitting there. And then I'll show you how um, to apply the glue and get on there. So this is going to be so hard. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking hard in a phone. Oh my God. This, I didn't think this out very well. <laughs> and then the glue will dry clear. Oh my gosh. Let me look at this mirror real quick. I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, sorry. I had to look in the mirror because I had it completely effed up. It's really hard to do in a phone. Okay, so you've got your lash. This one I've used... This is the third time wearing it. I'm using Kiss So Wispy. And then the glue I have is just Duo. It is white when you put it on, but then it turns clear. And I love these because if you mess them up, you just pull them off, put them right back on. So the, the key is you don't want to put on the glue and then just put it straight on your eye. Because the glue is going to be too wet. You want to wait. A couple seconds like 30 seconds till the glue is a little bit more tacky and so you can play with it a little bit more now I am NOT a makeup artist my best friend is she's probably gonna watch this and be like either she taught me well or I don't know this works for me so what I do instead of going this way because you're gonna get globs of glue I just like squeeze till there's like you can see like you get just a little like bubble of glue kind of and then I run it along the lash because you don't need a ton of glue you just run it along the lash like that see how it's not globby it's just a nice thin little line and you can also see that these lashes are shorter by my index finger and then they get longer as they go out. So the longer side goes on the corner of your eye to like open your eye up and draw it up. So I don't wear like a liquid or a pencil liner. I just dip um, a thin brush in water, get it wet, and then I dab it in eyeshadow and then I run that. So that's how I put on my eyeliner and everything first and I've done like a thin coat of mascara on my natural lashes and then I will also do a coat of mascara um, after I get these on like I said I've used these lashes this is the third time I've worn them so they're pretty flexible but if you're getting one like brand new out of the box they're gonna be pretty stiff so you're gonna want to wiggle them loosen them up you can also measure them to your eye I have very large eyes and so I never have to trim them because they fit my eye but if you have a smaller eye like hold it up on the shorter end um, of the lash you know how it like fans out longer on the side so the shorter side clip that so you still have your long side just take fingernail clippers and like you just measure it and clip it so I'm gonna try and apply this in my phone again but the last time it didn't go so well so I just close my eye and I try and like line up the outside corner first and the glue is tackier. This is so freaking hard to do in a phone, you guys. It usually just takes me a second. But I start on the corner and line up the corner so the long part is in the right spot. And then you just push it along your lash. I'm going to pop in this mirror one second. Yes. Okay. 
So you want it as close to your lash line as you can so you don't have like a gap between your natural lash and um, the false lash. Okay, so this one is got a like cure on my eye. This one is good to go. I've had it on there while I've been talking. And then I use from Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions. If you've never tried this, send me a message. I will send you like a $10 coupon. It's legit. I love it. It makes you, I mean, you almost don't need to wear falsies when you wear this. And what I love so much about it is it's not waterproof, but when you get it wet and you go to wash your face, you just get them wet and you can literally just like pinch and pull them off. <laughs> In a weird way, it looks like spider legs coming off, but you don't have that like smear of mascara all over your face. And I've had this for a long time, but it makes your, your real lashes look really well, really good. So, okay. So then I just go through with my natural lash and I'm, I'm not really like putting it on the false mask, false lashes, but this helps draw your natural lash up. I have a freaking hair. It's going to have mascara on it. But that is, that's it. So this one's been on there enough, you know, just let it cure for a minute or two so you don't go and pull the whole thing off. But you guys, it's super simple. I have um, the magnetic ones too. And I like the magnetic lashes as well, but more so when it's more of a glammed up look because I don't typically wear like a lot of eyeliner, like this is it. And I feel like with the magnetic lash, you kind of have to make a thick, um, a thick line with the liner for it to actually adhere. The good thing about a magnetic lash is it lasts longer than these. But like I said, this is the third time that I've worn these lashes and I feel like they still look good. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I, I like the look of false lashes. I like the look of lash extensions. I've had lash extensions before, but I just didn't like them because it made my natural lashes like thicker and I felt like it was uncomfortable to sleep on. Um, and if you don't, if you don't have someone who puts them on correctly, it can actually do damage to your natural lash. Um, I've been trained in lash extensions and so I know like the horror stories behind if they're not done correctly. So if you are looking for lash extensions, like make sure you do the research and maybe even connect with people who've had them done by that person. Um, because if they're not done correctly, they can really damage your natural lash. So I like the look of it. Um, I thought it would be extra. Um, I kind of was worried like, oh, are people going to think that I'm extra? And then I was like, no, I don't care. <laughs> I like them. So I'm going to wear them when I have the time. So yes, I am still wearing Saint Makeup and I do really like it a lot. It's super simple. Everything's in one compact and I just can like stipple it onto my face, let it set a minute and then blend it in. So Anyways, that's it. I've got to go to work. I have to be there in 10 minutes. So best go, but Kiss Lash So Wispy is what these ones are. And then I'm using Thrive Mascara with it. So thanks for hopping on guys. Hope you have an awesome Wednesday, hump day, leprechaun day. It's got to be a good day, right? So, okay. See ya.